The average American claims that in order to be comfortable financially, they need to make $233.00 each year. However, the average yearly salary for American workers in 2021 was only $75,203. When Americans consider how much money they would like to have in order to feel comfortable in their financial situation, that amount usually ends up being three times the national average salary. And it's significantly more than that to be truly wealthy or successful. With their current financial situation, 72% of Americans claimed they were not financially secure. Furthermore, over 25% of Americans stated that they probably won't ever be financially secure. Despite having more money and less debt after the epidemic, based on the data, they are more worried about what will happen next, whether they will be able to retire safely and with stable employment. A significant portion of Americans, well over half, are not reaching even their most basic financial objectives since they are living paycheck to paycheck. In actuality, millions of individuals face hardships. It's not a topic that people wish to discuss. However, you are not alone and it is not your fault if you find yourself in a situation where you feel extremely insecure about your finances. What can you do to address the issue of financial insecurity in America and how did it get to be so difficult? 1. Let's do some budgeting. In the second quarter of 2023, the median monthly income for full-time working Americans was approximately $4,400. 75.2% of gross wages are retained by the average worker after taxes and perks. Reducing the take-home income to roughly $3,308. And that simply isn't sufficient to meet the current expense of living in the United States. Healthcare costs have increased dramatically. The price of going to college has increased dramatically. The price of buying a house has increased dramatically. However, nobody has mentioned that wages are growing by 15%. Am I correct? Examine a few of the most necessary costs for Americans. As of June 2023, $2,029 is the median monthly rent in the United States. That sum already makes up more than 46% of the median pre-tax income in the United States. However, the majority of U.S. organizations define rent as exceeding 30% of a person's gross monthly income, as being burdened by rent. In the meantime, $1,957 was the median monthly mortgage payment for a 2,400 square foot home. As a general rule of thumb, you should pay down your mortgage with no more than 28% of your pre-tax income. That is only $1,232 for the median gross monthly wages. Housing is the main problem, according to the households and customers we spoke with in the real world, particularly those who are, say, under 40. As you are aware, there is rent, 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 and mortgage. The main worry is that consumers won't have enough money for the subsequent payment. People who are able to maintain stability in their housing are severely harmed by inflation. Furthermore, I believe that sometimes people underestimate how much uncertainty a housing worry might spread throughout society. The cost of living in cities has increased due in part to housing. According to American survey data, living comfortably in cities like San Francisco, New York, and Southern California would entail having a net worth of more than $1 million. This explains the migration and mobility that has occurred across the nation, with some claiming to be residents of expensive states like California or New York. We truly want to move to a less costly place and kind of pack up. One of the ironies of that is that the previously less expensive locations are now getting more expensive. The average monthly expenditure of Americans on food was $690.75, according to, to the most recent Bureau of Labor Statistics data. That sum is much more than any of the USDA's projected grocery bills, even with the more liberal and generous food plans. When you factor in the out-of-pocket medical costs, which run the average American $96.42 per month, the total cost comes to $2,816.17 for renters and $2,744.17 for homeowners. That sum already makes up more than 82% of the typical American homeowners take home pay and 85% of the median take home pay for American renters. This does not include other necessary costs like debt repayment, child care, or transportation. Just the rising expenses of housing, food, and other necessities of life are seriously affecting a large number of Americans. The cost of utilities has increased. The cost of auto insurance has increased. Insurance for homeowners has increased. And how can they fulfill their other aims in addition to paying for them? 
Americans should only spend 50% of their net income on necessities, 30% on wants, and 20% on savings or debt repayment, according to budgeting experts. People are now spending 75% of their take-home pay on necessities alone, which leaves very little for wants or saving money for the future. This is a dramatic shift in how money is allocated. Therefore, many Americans actually aren't able to fulfill that target allocation, depending on where they live and, of course, their income. In America today, handling your finances is a lot like sipping from a fire hose. Many households are unable to appear and force their own custom-designed financial framework upon their money. Many people are still in this reactive state where they are only attempting to make ends meet. 2. Credit is expensive. Over one-third of Americans stated that rising interest rates prevented them from being financially comfortable, despite the Federal Reserve having raised interest rates 11 times since March 2022 in an effort to fight inflation. Purchasing a home is sort of at the top of the list of financial decisions or activities that can be made more difficult to afford due to higher interest rates. Take a look at the buyer who, two years ago, was scheduled to purchase a property for, say, $375,000. Less than $2,000 would have been their monthly payment. It's roughly $3,400 now. Is this, after all, the same house? The interest rate is the only item that has changed. Buying an automobile is more costly. With the new credit card offers, it costs more to keep a balance on a credit card, even for the most eligible applicant, who pays only 20.5% of the total amount due, while other applicants pay closer to 30%. Because of their access to credit, home loans, and other financial resources during a comparatively flat economy with a strong labor market, lower-income households were able to get a foothold in the market despite the fast-rising cost of capital. Small firms and consumers are finding it increasingly difficult to obtain credit as the financial sector grows more risk-averse in that area. Because Americans lack the savings to pay for large costs, credit is necessary. Over 40% of Americans attributed financial insecurity to not having enough money saved for emergencies or retirement. Many people require some amount of money just to feel better about their financial situation on an emotional level. I hope you liked this video. If really then make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for more videos. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day. Stay tuned with us for more videos.